Hi guys, here's a quick update on my progression um, of my welfare van to stealth camper van. There's my slider divider that I spoke about in the last video. It's quite easy to make. I used a bit of three inch by three quarter inch, same at the back, and that makes just the right space to clear the headrests. Um, this is a electrical conduit used as a slider. And as you can see, it works really well. Like I say, it's just enough clearance for the headrests. There you go. That's that. Really pleased with that. And as a matter of interest, this piece of timber was originally up here, covered all that lot. And I've cut it down and used it for the divider. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Now I used the um, the fridge in the end I did use it, I checked it, it all worked, the electrics work, 240, 12 volt and gas and it all worked so I thought why not use it. Brand new sink off eBay, nice and deep, nice and big, all be washing up, grey water tank at the bottom. Now that does come out but I'm going to plumb it in with a tap going through the bottom of the van so I can just open the tap and let the water drain out into a bucket or straight down a drain. And then we've got my cooker, which works. I had to do a bit of faffing around to get it working, but it did actually work in the end. A bit of a drama. And it's on a gimbal, like it would be on a boat, which is quite novel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. Just for the novelty, really. And here's all the electrics. This is the electrical hub. This was down here on the bulkhead in a cupboard. And this was originally to control the, the auxiliary battery and the microwave, boiling water, lights, all that good stuff. It's basically just a split charge relay system. This is a voltage sensing relay, which safeguards the engine battery from going flat. And that basically switches this on and off, which is connected up to the auxiliary battery, or in our case, leisure battery. It looks complicated, but it's not really. I'll break it down. Bank of fuses. This bank of fuses will be connected to the heat controller, nighttime controller. You can see I've already started connecting it up. This bank of fuses is all for the lights, all the lighting. And basically, the live comes out of here to a switch. And then back again to the lights. Now that how that is wired up now is how it was in the van, just so that the engine charges the auxiliary battery. But I'm going to use a solar controller and solar charger as well. So what I'm going to have to do is disconnect it off of here. This live feed, which feeds these fuses, will come off of here. I've already undone it. I'm going to put it over here so it's fused across this fuse. This fuse is already in there. Then the feed from the solar controller will go here. So that will be independent from here. This goes to the leisure battery. This will go to the solar controller. It's important to separate those. So all the feed to these fuses will come directly from the solar controller. And the neutral from the solar controller will go here. It's important you separate the neutral from the neutral to the van. Don't connect this to this if you're going to use a solar controller and at the same time um, the lights when you wire the live to the lights don't be tempted to put the neutral to the body of the van the neutral from the lights in the fridge must come back to here and back to the solar controller otherwise the solar controller won't work properly when you buy your solar controller, it should have a wiring diagram telling you all that. Just thought it was worth a mention for anyone that doesn't quite understand how they work. But yeah, it's really simple. If in doubt, do consult an auto electrician. Sorry about the car behind me. There you go, it's first thing in the morning, everyone's going to work. So there you go, that's it really. Our bed or bench. The workbench is still a workbench, it's not a bed yet, but it will be. Fresh water container is down there, that fits through there. Um, 
yeah, and that's it really. That's the latest update. That's the progression so far. And it's only been a week. I don't think I'm not too bad. There you go. Thanks for watching. And if you want any more updates, feel free to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. For now.